Hi, welcome to our SV Links channel and our video for this week, the putting together of our custom sanding system for building the cat. And what you see right down here is this little red wagon that we purchased, used, so that we can make a mobile cyclone vacuum collection system. And so uh, these are the different parts. We have our bin that will collect the dust over here and our cyclone collector here, and that'll connect over here. To our vac master, which is going to be in the wagon. Right, so all this has got to go in here and get hooked up, and I've got to drill this and put this on top here. So I'm gonna to get to that, but while I'm doing that, why do we need this? Well, Marianne's <laughs> gonna to go to the computer and show you why we need a little red wagon to wheel up and down the boat and what this thing actually does for us while I put it together. Sounds good. All right, well, let's get started. First thing I'm doing here is measuring the hole that I have to cut in the top to put the cyclone separator there and bolt it down. So I'll use this multi-tool to get the hole started, but in a moment here, I think I'll switch to my jigsaw to cut the hole. All right, just cut this out real quick. There we go. And at this point, I've got to drill the holes to put the bolts through to hold it on. So just six quick holes. Okay, now I'm just going to do a little fitting here to check the gasket in the holes. Make sure this all lines up properly so that we're ready to bolt on the cyclone separator to this top. All right, I'll move the top over here and we'll just screw these in. And now that it's done, I can Put it on here and we can figure out how to hook up the hoses to it. So I've just got to put the clamp on top so that it's uh, sealed up. There we go. So there's our cyclone and then this is our vac master and this hose which we will route down below here comes up to the top like a so, and then the vacuum hose, which is this one, goes onto this little wood mount that we made to hold that, and that inserts into the end here. And now we have our vacuum that can go in through the side of the boat to where we want to vacuum. But let's test it out and find out if it works. All right, so. Here we have a bucket of shavings and such, and we're gonna suck it up. And the idea is, is this is gonna separate it out into here and not into the vacuum. So let's see how it works. All right, so the trick is, is there anything in here? Let's find out. So, I don't see much at all. So this filter didn't get clogged up. All right, so there we have it. Ready to wheel up and down the side of the boat and we'll go in there and uh, get to work on some other things to do with sanding. In fact, we have our flexi sander and I'm going to go ahead and unbox that and show you what that's all about. Let's take a look at what this vacuum system does for us during construction. Sanding creates a lot of dust, buckets of it. After we put fairing compound over every part of the boat shell, it has to be sanded then more fairing compound, then more sanding, until we get it near perfect. Each cycle of sanding creates dust. 
We're going to show you one of our sanders in a few minutes, but each of the power sanders has a dust collection system that is pulled by a vacuum. The problem is, all that fairing compound makes very fine dust when sanded, and that will clog up the filter on a typical shop vacuum system almost immediately. So the trick is to use the vacuum to pull the dust, but not let the dust get into the vacuum and its filter. To do that, we use a Dust Deputy Cyclone Dust Separator. This goes in between the vacuum hose, where we collect the dust, and the vacuum that is creating the suction. As the debris passes through the cyclone separator, it is pulled down by the cyclone action into the large collection barrel below, while the now fairly clean air goes into the vacuum. The reason we need this system on a wagon is because of the smart method of construction that Schoening designed into the building of the hulls. The sides are not put on until almost all of the shell is completed. This allows us to have excellent ventilation while we're putting on fiberglass cloth with epoxy and when we get to the fairing compound and sanding. This will also be especially nice in a hot climate like Southern California so that we can have a large fan that blows air into the side of the boat for some cooling airflow and reduction of fumes. So instead of lugging a fan and cyclone vacuum system through the hulls while we work, we can wheel the system up and down the outside of the boat on our wagon and just bring the vacuum hose inside to where it's needed. Now, for use in the salon and cockpit, we'll move the wagon up onto the boat and wheel it down the center walkway of the boat. So that's why we need a cyclone vacuum system and why Phil is mounting it onto a wagon for easy movement. Later, he'll build a rack on top for a fan as well. Now speaking of fairing and sanding endlessly on a 50-foot catamaran, let's take a look at the unboxing of two tools that will help make that job a little easier. We'll show you the big brother of this little fairing tool. All right, well, Christmas came early today. We just got in our Flexi sander all the way from the UK and also our Flexi sander board that we will use to do the fairing compound and uh, spread it onto the hulls and other parts of the boat. So we're going to unbox this thing and see what's inside. All right, well, this top box is the sander and the small one down, small but long one, down here will be the spreading board. Let's take a look at the spreading board first. Okay, and there it is. What a monster. All total, two holes, 50 feet each, it's 100 feet a hull. And of course, we end up burying those holes multiple times. Okay, and there's our flexible sander. You can see how it can flex as you go. And so there's a couple of handles to hold on to. They're in here. So they go in here. There we go. And we'll be doing that a lot. That should save us a lot of work. Okay, so next up is the sander because once that fairing compound has been put on with that other board, we're going to have to sand the whole thing. And that is a lot of torture board if you have to do it by hand. So what we want to do is do it with a power sander. Now what's nice about this one, well, first of all, it's really the only one out there that you can get that does the kind of thing we're looking for. And, but what's nice about this is you can see it has these holes in it here and the sandpaper is actually a, a grid that goes on here. And so it can have a hose attachment right here to the vacuum system. And then as you're creating dust, as you sand, it's sucking it in through all these holes and going off into the filter system to get rid of that. Meanwhile, this can also flex, just like the board, to match the curvature of the hull. 
Now, if you'll notice here, this is a European plug. And that's because this sander comes from England. And that's where the company is that makes it. But that's okay, because our boat is going to be a 230 volt, 50 hertz setup um, for our electricity on board. And we chose that instead of uh, the US because there's more places in the world that are 230 than there are places that are 110. And so we decided that we would step up our boat to 230 to begin with, and we can always use a transformer to come down to 110 if we have some devices that we need. Since we're gonna generate our own power at the build site using solar panels and our batteries for the boat, the inverter we're buying for the boat is 230 volt, 50 hertz. And so this is gonna plug right into that system and run right off of that since we're gonna be that way on the boat, even though we're here in the US since we're our own little power generating plant. And so that will be no problem for us. We won't need to purchase the transform, but for us, it's perfect because we want a 230 volt machine. And there you have it, our flexi sander and our flexi sander uh, fairing compound. Um, and also, you know, just a, this straight edge is also used to check after you've sanded, you can take this edge down and see if there's any gaps uh, across the whole different directions and make sure that uh, you've got it perfect. And if not, you put some more firing compound on there. Scrape it off fairly thin, let it dry, and get back to the power sanding again. All right, that'll do it for this unboxing part. Last week's video was about our propulsion system, and we received a video from Combi that we want to show you right now. Hello everyone, and welcome to Combi Electric Propulsion Systems. Combi is one of the leading international suppliers of advanced, high-performance propulsion solutions for the marine market. We have made a tailored suited solution for Captain Philip Blood. This means that he will receive a 25kW Combi inboard and a 25kW hybrid drive with closed cooling system. The Combi hybrid will be attached to his combustion engine with the use of a bracket, which is specially engineered for this project. With our Combi Hybrid model, we can offer a combination of electric and fuel powered sources. Boat owners can benefit from a clean, powerful and silent motor with our hybrid electric propulsion motor combined with the alt thrusted engine that they are coming with. Alright, well thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're just looking at a whole bunch of work with all that sanding stuff. but. We wanted to get it ready ahead of when the boat kit arrives, which is coming soon. In fact, if you'll take a look right here, you'll see that it's further than halfway across the Indian Ocean. Here we are on Fleetmon, tracking our kit all the way. It's headed for Singapore, then on to Shanghai, and across the Pacific to Long Beach. So, it'll be here soon. In fact, very soon. We're now down to maybe four or five weeks before it reaches Long Beach. And we're not sure it could be a week or two sitting in port as it gets unloaded, but it's coming in March and will be delivered to our lot. So we're gonna to get to preparing the lot in one of our upcoming videos. So you'll see some of the things that we're doing to get ready for that kit to arrive. So again, thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of our next video. And we'd like to thank our patrons again for their continued support and everybody who watches our videos. We really appreciate everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.